Hey everyone, today we are gonna be taking a look at the new Die Pro Axis mask. Now, if this mask looks familiar, there is a good reason for that. Uh, it is basically like a newer version of the older uh, Proto Axis or Proto Switch masks. Um, you know, also looks really similar to the old Die i3, but different, not exactly the same. There's some like nice new changes that they've made to it. Um, in no particular order, the one of the main changes is these sort of foam ear pads. The ear pads are like way nicer. Like the quality is much, much better than the older, uh, the older versions of this mask. So that's always nice when, you know, things get better as opposed to worse. Uh, the foam's a little bit nicer too. It's basically got the soft foam and then it's got that like harder compression foam on the inside so it doesn't entirely compress and then essentially you just have plastic pushing against your forehead. And then the lens change system itself is a little bit different. It does take the same style lenses, but how you change it out is not quite the same. So basically, you're gonna grab the end of the strap, this part with the big die logo on it, and you're gonna kind of rotate it up to about a 45 degree angle. Might be a bit stiff, but and then push on it from the inside and it's gonna pop out like that. Let's do that to the other one. This one is a little bit stiffer. There we go. There we go. And then just kinda get it out like that. All right, so once you've got both sides of the strap out, this whole frame and the lens, you wanna sort of lift it out, but at the same time, you also wanna basically rotate it forward because there's a little hook right there that's gonna hook into the front of the mask. So at that point, you got your frame, you got your mask, and you got your lens itself, which has a secret bonus little Proto logo in there. So if you needed proof that it takes the same lenses, there you go, there's a secret Proto logo. Uh, you know, change your lens, clean it, do what you gotta do. Then to put it back together, you wanna take your secret Proto logo, line it up with the less secret die logo, frame it all up in there, make sure it's sitting in the frame nicely. Then take that hook, feed that hook back into the front of the mask and rotate it back into place. And I can personally say, it might take a couple attempts the first time you try it, just cause you're new to it. There we go, there we go. Make sure everything's all lined up, make sure everything looks good. Yep, you wanna just check, make sure there's no gaps around the, around the frame. Once you're happy and you think everything's lined up, take that strap, feed it back through, and rotate it back into place. And of course, same thing on the other side. You might have to, there we go, there we go. Rotate it back into place. Again, check, make sure there's no gaps around the frame or anything like that. And then, there you go, you've changed your mask, there's your lens, so not challenging in any way. It's actually pretty easy, pretty quick, pretty simple. So, you know, that is the new Die Pro Axis, or semi-new, kind of new, I mean, you know. You know what I'm saying. Um, what do you guys think? Have you used the the new the new Die Pro Axis? How do you like it compared to the older Proto Axis and Proto Switch? Do you think it's a big improvement? Do you think it's just, you know minor stuff? Or um, you know what do you guys think about it? If you've used both, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. And of course, like and subscribe, always appreciated. And thanks for watching.